Well, today I'm going to show you how to get uh, VC shadows in your NGX or in any other plane. Um, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, pretty simple. Not nothing scientific or anything like that. So um, I want to show you guys uh, this video clip that I recorded earlier, just to show you that um, this is FSX. This is not Prepare 3D. Um, as you can see, the the shadows here over by the right side on the uh, first officer um, you're gonna see the shadows and switching the cameras there and as we go up we're gonna um, see those shadows really really move and actually see them work um, in the virtual cockpit um, like I said it's pretty easy nothing nothing too hard to do so um, let's get to it so the first thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do this uh, tweak it's in the display area here in your FSX config file and you're gonna enter force VC shadows map equals one that is what it's going to make the shadows work in your um, FSX or um, in your NGX okay after that you're gonna close it and you're gonna open DX10 toolbox now this is only going to work with with um, with the DX10 fixer from Steve Parsons so you're gonna open the toolbox okay this is um, easy so you gotta go aircraft turn on VC shadows and you're gonna find um, it's gonna take you to this folder so you're gonna go to sim objects, airplanes, go to your uh, PMDG planes, and go into the model folder. Okay, and you're gonna see these two. I mean these uh these four things here. What you're gonna do is select both of these that says VC on it. And you hit open, and it's gonna make it like a backup file. Once that the backup file is there, just remove it out of your folder, and I have it here saved. So I have it say for all these planes uh, series, I mean, and that's how you do it. Okay, um, but if you don't want to do all this hassle and go back and forth and whatnot, I'm gonna leave you guys um, with all these. I already have them all set up. So all you're just gonna do is just well, first of all, I want you guys to back it up anyway. So once you go into your um, your uh, your aircraft folder and the model you I want you guys to back up these two files here okay so once that's done just insert these in the in the folder and you're done alright pretty simple um, let me see um, so I'm gonna show you the settings that I have in the DX10 alright so these are my settings for DX10 and uh, that's how you make that the fine look on on those um, on those views All right so it's pretty easy uh, let me know if it works I'm pretty sure it does and like I said this is not um, I don't take credit for this Chad Donahue is the one who taught me so I want to say thanks to him for showing me this and um, thank you and um, Hopefully this works. Thanks. Bye.